Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So by the time that this goes out and my other videos go out, Akon has already been passed for probably a while. So when I talk about Akon upcoming in my previous videos, it won't really have any context, but that's just because I wanted to get a bunch of videos before I started uploading. I went to Akon. Um, it's an anime convention that is here in Texas. It's originally located in Dallas. It was at uh, a hotel before that, I believe. But it was um, since Akon 24, which was my first one, it was in Dallas, and then they moved it this year to Fort Worth, so that was crazy. Um, but I, thank God, I was very fortunate and I was able to still go. I got a hotel room with one of my friends. Um, and it was it was great it was it was I mean we had problems but not between me and her uh, but overall it was it was a great it was a con experience con experience it, it was great you met tons of people you know and that's what you do at cons I mean some people go for the merch some people go for uh, to show off their cosplays that maybe they were sponsored or they made um, some people just go to panels and then some people just socialize I kind of do a mix um, I do everything, or I, I try to anyway. Um, basically, rundown of the con this year. I didn't get to go to all the panels. Um, I went to an autograph signing. I We hung out with a lot of people. We went to photo shoots. And um, then we hung out, and it was pretty late. So we stayed at the... They had a 24-hour gaming at one of the hotels that was across the street from the Fort Worth Convention Center. That was fun. The guys were great. They were, they were amazing, and... They were so nice, and it was nice to just have a regular conversation. We played like DDR and just dance, and you're just being stupid and talking. Like it, it was great. So yeah, basically, I get to now add this badge to my ever-growing collection of convention. So this was the badge this year, as you can see, it got Ellie on it. Um, let's see all the stuff that I blew my money on. Cause let's be honest, I save all my money for this and makeup. So like. I had money to spend. Disclaimer. Dis disclaimer. Disclaimer. Because sometimes when I watch haul videos, I get a bit annoyed and I think, oh, they're just, whatever. They're just, I'm so sore. I had speed skate yesterday and I'm sore. I didn't stretch. Um, disclaimer. I'm not showing off. I very rarely spend my money. Um, and when I do, I spend it very frugal. I have more than... I want to say half of the money left over from the convention, so I did not spend all of my money. Um, I try to be smart about what I buy at conventions because a lot of stuff can be overpriced, obviously. So normally I wait till the last day when they have deals because they're trying to sell everything. You know, they if they if they don't sell it, then they have to pay to take it back with them from wherever they're from. And a lot of people come out of state to sell at conventions, the vendors. So get any coffee. Okay, I guess we'll just jump right in. Um, I'm gonna start with some plushies that I got. Now these plushies I didn't pick out. I did two grab bags. It was worth a lot more than what I got, so it had multiple items in there. First grab bag that I got came with this cute little plushie. If this is from like an anime, somebody comment and tell me what anime because I, I've seen this bear I've seen this bear everywhere, like there's Monokuma, not Monokuma, that's a anime character. I've seen Kirigumis of this, and so I was just like, it's just a random bear that like... And I got this cute little whale. And this one actually has a little sticky thing. And I'm gonna stick it on my desktop, which is over there. And then also in that one, it was at the bottom, it was this it's little shuriken. Which I found out that it is... A pen. How cool is that? You like twist this. I didn't know. I was just like, oh cool, plastic weirdly made thing with a hole in it. And, and I looked down and I was like, it's a pen. <laughs> Basically how that went. In the second grab bag, I got this cute little plushie. She cute little kitty. But I got this cute one. I got this adorable little strawberry. Freaking cute as that! Moving on to badge type things. So I got this, League of Legends, because like I said earlier, Nami is my main, and at conventions, there's, okay, there's not as much League art as there was 
a few years ago or last year. Um, but there is some, there's, there's plenty of Lee Guard, but there's none of Nami. Like, no one really does art about Nami, so like, I literally squealed re like really loud when I saw this, which is embarrassing. Because I try not to be the obnoxious con goer, but in that moment, I just, I, I couldn't help it. I'm sorry, it's, it's my baby Nami. All of our skins. These next four things I didn't get for myself, I got for two amazing friends of mine, if I can reach it. To go to a convention for a long time, but she was unable to go this year. She was going to, but she couldn't go. So it was really sad, um, and I decided to surprise her with two gifts. You know, bring the con to her. I got her, she really loves Seven Deadly Sins, and yes, I do know that anime, so I just didn't blindly buy this for a friend. Um, this is Bane, and I don't, just remember he's the sin of wrath and he's the sin of greed. And she said she absolutely loves these two characters. So I was like, bet. Like I was so happy because um, this booth actually, this guy's booth was really nice. He was uh, really cool. So I was really glad that I found these for her. For my soulmate um, who brought me to my first convention. Damn. Four years ago, he brought me to my first convention, and we've been going ever since. Um, but this year, unfortunately, because it was moved, they jacked up the price. And my soulmate was, um, unfortunately, unable to go. Which I was really, he was really upset about, and I was really upset about. But, um, so I decided to get him a present. And he doesn't like me to get him presents, but I do it anyway, because... More often than not, we just do little hand handmade gifts. Um, but yeah, I, I got him these two little things. I actually have not seen, I have not seen this anime. So I have not seen Yuri on Ice. But he loves the gays. And he was fangirling about the anime one time over the phone. So I was like, I got you. And I didn't tell him what it is. And when they see this, this video will hopefully already be up. So that it doesn't get, like, revealed. But anyway, so yeah. These two little badge things, and then the Nami one for myself. Moving on. I need a coffee, Drake. Drake. Break. I got another grab bag. This one came with two shirts. Um, these are not anime related. This is just... Oh, that's that's sideways. Good job, Ellie. Um, can you even can you even see the whole shirt? Because I can't. I cannot. Okay, there we go. It's like a really cool. Um, here, here's the booth. This is what the booth was called. And they had really cool Tim Burton type of art. So this one is for me. It came with two. The second one that I got, I believe it's Frida. Frida, I don't know her last name, but she's a famous artist. She's got the, the unibrow, right? Right, that's Frida? It looks like Frida. Anyway, when I saw this, I immediately thought of my friend. We'll call this friend Rin. That's something she likes to go by, Rin. Um, but this is this is for Rin, along with one other thing that I will that I will get to later when we go to the other section. But this is for her for her birthday. Moving on. Keychains, like well not keychains, but charms type things that I got. This is all League. So if you don't know League, just sit there and just be like, uh huh. Cool. Cause you, cause you probably don't know what I'm talking about, but like I said, Nami's my main. I am a support main, crazy I know, cause I'm, I'm pretty like, but can't really like find good supports nowadays, especially in low freaking elo. So anyway, I'm a support main. Uh, so I got this cute one. Oh my god, focus on Nami. I'm gonna have to take my hair ties off because it wants to focus on my hair ties. Come on, there. So I got a little Nami, it is double sided. Then my secondary main when it comes to support is Thresh. Is Thresh. Some say, some say that I am a very less attractive female version of Mad Life, which I guess I'll take. 
and I dropped it again. And then for the last one, she's not really a main, but I started um, playing her a lot more because I thought it was she was a hardish, harder ish champion, which not a lot of people know how to properly play. And so when you're really good at this champion, um, people have a hard time countering you. So and that's Riven, and I do actually have this skin for her. And I have skin, all, all the Nami skins, and Dark Star and Blood Moon Thresh. We're gonna do buttons. Okay, so tradition, I'm gonna get it. Hold on, hold on. Oh, I can barely get it because I'm skating. I'm sore. Ooh. Tradition, I kind of started um, from when I first went to my first con. I started collecting pins and putting it on this hat. Change it and make it. Probably make a homemade tie-dye t-shirt and then put these on here and then as well probably put a bit of hot glue so they don't fall off because I am I lost I had every single evolution but I lost a bunch of them so now I only have those and I lost Evie and I buy pins every single time I go to Akon I went to the little crazy <laughs> Scrub Lord, I'm ripped. Yeah. One goes hand in hand. It's two Hercules beetles. This says fight me. I'm a very aggressive sometimes, so I was like, these are me. Scrub Lord, fight me, basically. Three, well, four. I got four more pins. Three, four, they're all four little ones. Um, and I am. I am, in fact, Team Instinct. I originally was going to be Valor, but I actually read the story paragraphs and I was like, oh, you think Pokemon are stronger than people? Oh! And then I looked over at Mystic and I was like, oh, you're a you're bandwagon. And, and you're weird too. And then Team Instinct was over here like, me, and I was like, I'm in. Sign me up. Next two pins I got because it reminded me of my childhood. I grew up watching Scooby-Doo and like when the Scooby-Doo movie like first came out, I had the CD still so it's like wah. But I got Scooby and Shaggy. Stop focusing on me for once. So I got this. Yoinks. And then Scooby-Doo. Oh my gosh, can you please? Raggy? Mm -hmm. Okay, this last pin um, I didn't get for me. I got it for Rin as well. And this is actually signed by Matt Mercer. Now, for those of you who don't know who Matt Mercer is and who don't know what Overwatch is, Overwatch is a game I mean, I'm sure everyone knows what Overwatch is at this point. And also, sorry if I sound really nasally, I have another sinus infection. Great. But, Matt Mercer is the voice actor for McCree, which is this little guy right here, one of the characters in Overwatch, and I had the pleasure of waiting in line forever for him, and he was actually really nice. Um, there was two lines left, and his time was coming to an end, and normally, um, no matter, I'm sorry, no matter how nice voice actors are, and I get that a lot of them are busy, but some will just leave. Like, they'll just leave and, like, kick, have to kick the rest of the line out. Um, but it just, he didn't. He stayed past his time in order to sign everything, and it was really, it was really nice. It was really great. He's a really, really nice guy, and it was a pleasure meeting him. Um, I was wearing my Medusa, and we had, like, a full-length conversation. I mean, I tried to keep it quick, because I know there's people behind me, but had a good conversation about that. So yeah, my friend really loves, Rin loves Overwatch, so I'm hoping this will make her birthday. I, I don't know, I, I know she doesn't really play McCree, but I think it'd be nice to have, so. And if not, only made it to perhaps my favorite of all of my merch, merch, the snacks. I love me some good snacks. Okay. So I'm just gonna stick my hand here, bring it out, and... Okay, this, if I remember correctly, this is Ramune flavored hard candy. And I think this, I wanna say this fizzles. Never had it, so I bought it this time. 
traditional strawberry pocky. This one has um, this one it has heart shaped sticks. So that's it's really 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 cute. Oh my god, my nose looks so big. Um. And these are tangy. These are not super sweet. So I really enjoy like a tart. I like sweet strawberries, but I also like the tart ones. Okay. I this is mochi. This is rice cake with bean. Well, it's not technically a rice cake, but mochi is made from rice flour. But it has red bean paste, which is like a sweet, sweet. It has solid beans in it, but it's really sweet and it's um. They're not crunchy, they're cooked, they're cooked very nicely. Um, and then green tea flavored paste, which I believe is made with, with a, it's a bean paste as well. Um, but this is, oh, I'm gonna butcher this, uh, makadaifuku, uh, makadaifuku, it's, um, it's basically mochi. It's it's mochi with a filling. So like I said, red bean paste and green tea because I love green tea. Um, I've, I've, oh, okay. So this is, these are like gummies. Um, they're gluten free apparently. Uh, it comes with lychee, which is, um, from what I've heard, it kind of tastes like a really good grape, a really sweet grape. Mango and strawberry flavored gummies. This is what the gummies look like. They have not had any of these, so this is something new. I love, okay, I haven't, I have not had these. These, from what it looks like, it looks like um, cheesy potato, baked potato, cheesy baked potato flavored Lay's. I have not had this. Okay, so yeah, it seems like it's cheese flavored. Yeah, so I have not had this, so this will be something good to try as well. I'm holding myself back so hard from trying these snacks so I could do a video. So that's gonna probably be up. That's gonna be up after this video. Will you enjoy me making a fool of myself while trying snacks? And I am gonna try the stuff that I've already had. Because I'm meh. But I also am kind of hesitant to do it, a video on it, because then that means that I'm opening everything. Fun fact, I eat very slow. I like to savor things, I like to snack, I don't like to inhale my food. In the process of me opening this, that would be a lot of food open. Now I know a lot of this food won't go bad, And, and, and I can just get a Ziploc bag and put it all in there, but I'm still gonna feel kind of bad about it. But yeah, so look out for that video after this one. Um, and I might, I don't have any footage for Macon, sadly. I was more focused on having fun. So I don't have any footage, but I'm gonna go ahead and input some photos, some of the best photos of, of myself. Sorry, I'm a little vain, but best photos of myself here. Hope you enjoyed this video. Um, thank you so much for sticking around, and I hope that you will subscribe or maybe just, you know, in general stick around and check out my channel a little bit more. If not, that's totally fine. I'm doing what I'm doing. I'm having fun doing it, and I think that's all that really matters to me. I'm Ellie Smelly, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a nice day, and thanks for watching.